Hello everybody, this is Eddie with Mobile Homestead Solar Services and John and Brenda, we were working on their Class A, putting a monster system on it. They also, for their astronomy, less, uh, where they give uh, demonstrations and lessons, um, they have this really huge solar trailer. And I did some modifications to fit what they're using it for. And this trailer, as you can see, these people have set them up with some signage so that they can kind of advertise for them. And I thought I would too because it's a pretty ingenious setup and, and I kind of like how they did it. All we did was convert more 12 volt stuff so that they could use certain things. But the people, if you want to get any information, are mobilesolar.net. It's quality built trailer. The solar is installed properly and uh, they have a, a couple of really nice outback inverters in there. So I will go inside and we'll take a look. We installed a composting toilet for him. So if they're off location without their Class A RV, this is an airhead composting toilet. They could be able to use that without having to worry about water. As you can see, they have a lot of astronomy equipment. There's three telescopes right there. I got them hooked onto a water tank so that they can be able to haul water so they don't have to take their RV in every time they need some water. What's going in here? Okay, this is a pack and it's kind of covered up. Um, it's got uh, twin outback inverters, so they have 30 amp at 220 volt. So a very powerful system. They got a whole rack of wet cell golf cart batteries down there. It's a really well built trailer, well built setup. The trailer's made out of steel, not just aluminum, so it can handle all the weight of the panels and the wind shear of the panels. What I did was, they didn't have any 12 volt in this because it's made mainly for construction or off-grid houses. Right here we have a drop-down transformer. It goes from 48 volts, which that's what his 12 volt system is, down to 12 volts, and we have 12 volt um, fuses. That's a blue C in it. And what we've done is, the air conditioner runs off of 12 volts. He has three 12 volt lights, LED lights. There's another one there. And of course, over here on the composting toilet, it also has a fan that runs all the time and that fan runs on 12 volt. And one of the last two things is the air conditioner has to have 12 volt for the controlling the thermostat and also we put a max air fan in here for him so that way he can ventilate the system without having to run the air conditioner all the time and yes this unit does have an air conditioner and he specified it so that if he's in a warmer climate he wouldn't be producing too much heat in here this is a really really nice trailer um, other than the small modifications we made to fit his needs um, it's it, it's a really good outfit it's perfect for the person that wants to go somewhere set up a a uh, off-grid house but they don't have the ability to store the power and they're trying to build it so you can use this unit to build and then you can actually either take it apart and put it on your house or just leave this parked outside guys this is the back side of this trailer and what we've done is he wanted to have maximize his storage he has some very very expensive telescope equipment and right here is one that he definitely does not want to get damaged how much is that unit $8, that's an eight thousand dollar unit so he wanted to protect it so he has that we built this racking system he he devised the idea and i helped him install it but we built this rack in the back so that he could be able to move it and adjust it to his needs in the future along with what he has right now so that's maximizing his storage in the back of this trailer and giving it a, a so guys if purpose. you ever need one of these trailers you can go to mobilesolar.net and for one I see, I like it. It's a really nice looking outfit. Um, and with the modifications, it's going to fit John and Brenda really well. You guys have a nice day and God bless.